If your tank water heater is over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We're teaming up with Mary's Place for kicks for kids because we make sure the kids that need them get a brand new pair of sneakers to call their own. They get to pick them out, too, with all the donations you give. I think that's really cool. Shout out to Kevin R. 100 bucks donated nice. to kicks for kids Thank Christian you. J uh, did 50 bucks, which yeah. is really cool. And Sally S. 69 Club. Nice. Ladies love the 69 Club. Or 69 Crew, my bad. Yeah, Sorry. come on. Yep. Whatever, whatever, you know, whatever we're calling it, anything you can donate, whether you're part of the 69 Crew or you just want to donate a buck, whatever you got, if you want to donate more, that's even better. Every dollar counts going towards giving these Puget Sound kids the shoes they need. I want to thank Mary's Place for helping out with Kicks for Kids because they're making they're really they're, they're making sure it all gets done. You want more info, you want to make a donation, you want to share on your socials so your friends can help out, go to KISW.com today. Let's play Beat Migs. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. Beat Migs, don't be a loser. Whoa, Beat Migs, you're a loser. It is time to beat Migs. And it's time to pump it over Monday. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. All right. Well, Steve already pumped it up earlier. He got a perfect 10. Yeah, he thinks he's all special now. Ready to go. It's a good start to the week, boys. Yeah, it's a yeah. great start to the week. Well, it, unless you're playing against Steve. Yeah, really. And we'll have to see if that gets changed right now. Cause we Heartbreaker. Got, I mean, the guy got nine right in Steve. Beat. I know, right? Dream crusher. Yeah. But we got Topher and Everett to take on Steve this time. Topher, are you there? I am. Excellent. Get out of here, Steve. Get out of here. I'm a winner. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> winner. For those playing at home, Topher will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Topher, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes. Ceviche is made by marinating raw fish with what type of citric liquid? Uh, Lime juice. Yes. What ocean is on the eastern border of Canada? Uh, Atlantic. Yes. What's the last name of Bob on the Fox show Bob's Burgers? Uh, Belcher. Yes. Ooh, what nice. cheese's name literally means recooked in Italian? Fed, uh, fast. What country did General Manuel Noriega run in the 1980s? Uh, Mexico? No. Uh, Spain? No. Fast. Who oh. played Kelly Bundy in the sitcom Married with Children? Oh. Uh. Oh. What astrological sign starts on January 21st? January. Um, Capricorn. No. Aries. No. Uh, oh. No. What is the Hawaiian name for yellowfin tuna? Mahi uh, Mahi. No. Oh. Uh, 
I don't know, pass. Ooh, three correct, yeah, Topher. Good. I have a fr- I'm afraid this probably won't be a win. Yeah, you started strong and then uh, fell off uh, right after that. Unless one, Steve uh, is way too confident, thinking, hey, I can get a perfect 10 anytime I want, guy. That's true. Yeah. Here he comes in. He's, he's strutting like, in right yeah, now. Yeah, he's smiling like I'm going to got a try. big old grin. Oh, he's about to go down to Southtown. Yeah, I think his pants may be a little uh, too big right now. Hey, uh, feel all right. Yeah, in Southtown, if that means if you're up, you're right, BJ. I'm going down to Southtown. All right, fine. <laughs> nice. Let's do this. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh! Uh, Oh, yes. I'm pretty good. All right, then. Ceviche is made by marinating raw fish in what type of citric liquid? Oh, um, lemon? No. Lime? Yes. Oh. What ocean is on the eastern border of Canada? That would be the Atlantic. Yes. What is the name of Bob on the Fox show Bob's Burgers? Bobby. Hey, the last name. Yes. No. Oh. Uh, burgers? No. Good old Bob Burger. Burgerville? No. No. What Ruff ch- it. No. What cheese's name literally means recooked in Italian? Ricotta. Yes. Nice. What country did General Manuel Noriega run in the 1980s? Oh, um, Panama. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, who uh, pl- <laughs> who okay. played Kelly Bundy in the sitcom Married with Children? Christina Applegate. Yes. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what astrological yeah, sign started on it starts on January 21st? Aries. No. Scorpio. No. Sagittarius. No. Oh. What is the Hawaiian name for yellowfin tuna? Ah, he? Yes. Nice. What U.S. president's motto was, the buck stops here? Oh, Roosevelt. No. Eisenhower. No. Uh, Taft. No. No, Taffy. One, two, three, four, five, six. You win. Six to three. Ooh. I think Steve would have beat me, though. Yeah, yeah, you're sorry, so Topher. Yeah, yeah, good game. Thank I, you, my friend. Have a yeah. good Monday. I, I wouldn't get a lot of these. Really? I can't believe it, to be honest with you. Which ones were giving you the issues The there? president, I thought I would. I thought I knew that one, right. um, so I don't know Who'd that you one. think it was? I thought it was Roosevelt. Which one? Um, Both. Well, I would have <laughs> said, Neither, I would have said but, Teddy and Franklin. Yeah. yeah. Hoover. No. Oh, that's a good guess, too. It's a great guess. It is a president, so good job on Kennedy. that. Kennedy. No. It has to be somebody Nixon. we... It's got to be somebody we know. Yes, it yeah. is. That's yeah. why I'm sending all the ones that I know that are like old school. <laughs> uh, it's old school, and uh, you guys are just going all around it. Truman. That's oh, Harry it. Truman. Harry S. Yeah. Truman. You're right. Mm-hmm. We were going all the way around him. Uh, BJ, I'm, I know you're familiar with the zodiac signs, so what astrological signs? I actually am January not. January 21st. But I do know that uh, Aquarius follows Apricorn, uh, Capricorn. Or <laughs> yep. Applecorn, yeah. <laughs> Applecorn. Uh, it's the dawning of the... Uh, and I only know it because I know it's a January one, and I know my wife is a Capricorn, and she's January, so I'm thinking, oh, okay, so it follows Capricorn. Oh, look at that. That's all I know, and then I know my own, and I know my kids, and then I'm done. You know a lot of them, though. Yeah, and I know May is Taurus, actually. I know See, look at that. You know a lot of them. I got six of them, but I need to get the other, what, six? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, because it's 12 months. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I, well, it might even be more than that now that I think about it. Uh, one of the uh, few that you uh, did miss was uh, Bob's last name on Bob's Burgers. He got that one. Topher got that correct. It's Belcher. Yeah, I've never seen the show. Oh. So I would never get that right. It's a fun show. It's a little quirky. Don't know if Steve would it's go for it. It's a lot of quirky. Yeah, I don't think Steve would go for it. I enjoy it immensely. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Steve. You won with six correct. As you know, people are very excited, including myself, because Starbucks is open for you to pick up. You order on the app, and you can then pick it up at the store. They'll just basically hand it to you out the door. Yeah, but I mean, it's been open for drive through Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, your drive through you could go do it, but now you can just walk to the store itself. Gotcha. And, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and there's a recipe floating around right now for... Uh, a Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. You can you can get one of those. It's sort of like a hidden menu thing. It's oh boy! It's a frappuccino. Now Ooh. it's not officially related to Captain Crunch. Like like you know the cereal's not saying yeah this is our thing that we're doing with Starbucks. But apparently, if you take the right ingredients, put them all together, people are saying this frappuccino tastes just like Captain Crunch cereal. And of course, the the baristas love it when they have to do one of these yeah, elaborate they do. drinks. So be sure to ask them to do it. And you know you don't have to bother to tip. Really, the tip is you asking them to make these drinks. I'm kidding. I wonder if they it at least like have a, a more massive headache. I wonder if they have more time now, at least to do something like this. Because I mean, obviously, no. not everybody's going to Starbucks. But uh, dude, if you ever driven by like any coffee shop these days, man, it's like the one place people can go to get out of their house, and the lines are ridiculous. Yeah, the, the, when we went to the one down, downstairs here, mm-hmm. there looked like there was four or five people there, and we were like, I mean, we were the only ones picking up our thing. So I don't know. You're right, Steve. It dep- I guess it depends on the shop and how many people they have in there. But you're right. It, these kind of drinks take a long time to prepare. And during normal times, 
They hate you for ordering these crazy thought, things. So, I mean, I guess I'm calling me stupid because I, I thought, I was like, why do they have Captain Crunch lying around? I thought you mixed Captain Crunch into this drink, but apparently it just tastes like a Captain Crunch. Yeah, if, here's what they say. If you get the strawberries and cream frappuccino, yep. then have them add caramel syrup, toffee syrup, and hazelnut syrup, throw some java chips in to make it crunchy, then you get a raspberry, strawberry, or caramel syrup on top. You can choose. And they're saying this whole combo, you feel like you're eating Captain Crunch cereal, like that same flavor combo. One person I love this comment says, I want to do it, but I feel like I'm just annoying them if I do. Uh, you know, again, if you give – here's what I would say. Yeah, you may annoy them, but like Steve said, if you give them a nice tip, they'll immediately go, oh, cool. You know, oh, for sure. Yeah. A tip makes anything better. Yeah, so I would say if you're worried about annoying anybody, just give a nice tip, and then you get what you want in life. I don't know if I could drink a whole thing of it, but I do want to try it. It looks Dude, delicious. I, I don't know if I can drink a, a cappuccino in the first place. It just They seem like they're just so decadently crazy. Oh, and, they are. Yeah, you know, it's the same thing like why I never get a blizzard. I just... I know I probably could eat that much ice cream, but for some reason it looks like it's way too much ice cream. Well, like, they come in the mini sizes. Yeah. They like, have mini blizzards? Itty bitty ones. Okay, why what, have what I not done that? Like, what are we talking? Um, what are we small, t- smaller than small. <laughs> look at mini. Steve. Wait, look at Steve. Like, if it's a mini but oh. still has a good size to it, that's like a like a two scooper. Yeah, like if two you get spoonfuls. Yeah, if you get uh, four of them, you have yourself a little flight. Now, Six wh- ounces. Oh, yeah. See, they should do like they that's do not for a clothing. Yeah. They should upsize it. Like, in other words, make you feel like you're having something small. Like, I buy medium shirts, and I know these shirts are larges. They just do it for my benefit. So they should do that with a just mini for blizzard. <laughs> they're like, hey. <laughs> well, I should say my type of people. Yeah. We don't want them to accept that they're getting bigger. So we're going to make it seem like we'll just make the shirts bigger, but say they're still medium. Here's our 64-ounce mini blizzard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because, look, <laughs> I walked into a real store, you know what I mean? Like a store that's a sort of boutique store, and tried on their mediums. And they fit me the way I you would think a medium would fit me. Like there's no way I can get into this, and and so that's what I'm saying. Make the mini blizzard for people like me that want to think we're not eating a lot, yeah. but have the mini blizzard be the size of an extra large. Well, I like that because sometimes you just kind of want to give yourself a little bit of a treat, but you don't want to go balls out. So it's like okay, <laughs> it's true, man. It's true. Well, you're also the guy that has this. He just spoon painted of an image with cream. Steve. He has an image with Steve, just his brain hanging out while he's having ice cream. Do I need to see this? Do I need that in my <laughs> Did life? Do you need to squat hand? like that, Steve? Yeah, it's Steve. Yeah, 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 man. Hold on, you got to hold uh, the ice cream. Uh, uh, banana split, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, Danny, you're right. Though. Like, I am the guy that, like, sometimes I'll just get a spoonful of ice cream at night, and that to me is a treat. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, Steve, that is the perfect flavor for the balls out ice cream That's is a banana, banana split. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to split the banana. Banana's going to split the boys. Hey. Right. hey. DJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Hey, you got something to say? I got something to say. Say it! They're wild. Yeah. Mad. And on the loose. This is Listeners on the Loose. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 ROCK. Text us at 77999. This is your opportunity to speak the words through the airwaves. But do remember, when you do, Steve has a rule. Yes, to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, you'll be gone, and we'll have to say goodbye to you. Goodbye, old friend. 206 rock Text us at 77999. Let's go to Russell and Graham. Russell, you are on the rock. Outstanding. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, Russell? I'm doing good. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Deeply. Huh? Are you still with me? I don't, what did he say? At, at, at the absolute worst time, your phone cut out right after you counted to three, so I have no idea what you just yeah, said. Yeah, we did not know what you said. What was your one, two, three? <laughs> I said deep sleep. Deep, deep sleep? Deep, did you say deep sleep? Deep sleep. What are you talking about? I think he's trying to hypnotize us. <laughs> okay, is that is that was Danny I mean, right? Are you doing a hip- us, but no, Are you scared. doing a hypno? No. Is that a hypno- hypnotist thing? I said I am a hypnotherapist. Yes. Oh, you're uh-huh. oh well. Okay. Can you make me cluck like a chicken? I if you want to cluck like a chicken or bark like a dog or your partner there, I can make that your partner look like uh, Susan Rice. Yes. Danny's here, so can you make him? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so question. Uh Uh-huh. Is hypnotherapy real or not real? 
Well, you, you you're obviously biased because you're a hypnotherapist. Well, he's asking for your opinion on it. No, he's not. Well, yes, he is. Well, I'm asking you. What do you think? No, I. You don't care what I think because you obviously are a hypno goddamn therapist. I mean, what? That's like me saying board games. Do you think they're good? Of course. I mean, I'm going to be biased. My answer is going to be yes, and you're never going to convince me. Do you think me. it's the greatest thing on yeah. television? See if we can get Steve to say okay. no. Wrestling sucks. I mean, <laughs> I mean, these days. Is there anything that anybody could say to you, Russell, that would make you say, "Oh, you're right. Hypnotherapy is horrible." Hmm, let me see. Well, last night... Oh, well, Why did I ask this question? Let's not talk about that. Oh, <coughs> oh, oh, ask me a question. Out, okay, I have, I have a question for you, Russell. Please do, because I'm What done. are some of the things... So you're a hypnotherapist. What are some of the things that you have uh, helped people get over, like smoking, eating? What, what are some of the things that you help people with? So I am a specialist in hypnotherapy and H- a- 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 ADD, uh-huh. um, PTSD, Pain management, nice fears and fo- fears and phobias, weight loss, smoking cessation, pre and post surgery, trauma recovery, dream therapy, okay. and handwriting analysis. Can I do you? Can you, can, Russell? Can you let me do you a favor? You don't want to sound like you're out of your friggin' mind. You got to sound like you're a professional because <laughs> hypnotherapy is already on the fringe in some people's minds. I will ask you that a question. True. Okay. Are yeah. you a licensed therapist through the state of Washington? That's the question. Like, yes. is, so you had to get a license so that you can do what you do that Washington verified you? Yes, I'm actually a licensed hypnotherapist in Washington. State. All right, fair enough. You know I'm what? Actually, then, I'm actually school trained. I have a degree in right. hypnotherapy. So, and hypnotherapy is a is a real thing. I mean, yeah, I've never. I mean, I only know it from like the fairs and stuff, and I know that's more of like a comedy yes. thing. But I mean, sometimes right. I'm just like, how in the hell did that happen? But so, what's the success okay. rate on uh, in general for someone that does hypnotherapy? Good question. Well, okay, so let me tell you, so people that, uh, that you see in fairs, uh-huh. right? The uh, hypnotists will get up there and say, "Hey, who wants to do this?" And all these hands go up, me, 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 me. So once they do that, they got the buy-in, they got the consent. So we have to get the consent first. Okay. Then when people get on stage, you'll see some people that will go down real quick. And some individuals that will be sitting there like, hmm, hmm, you can't do anything to me. Right. But the hypnotist is actually still working on them. So you well, have to- uh, let me stop you there for a second, Russell. Are there people that just can't be hypnotized because they don't want to be? You just can't hypnotize anybody, right? There has to be some sort of willingness to let you do your work. Yes. Okay, well, yes. that's what I've heard, because yes. I never have been hypnotized, yes. because my brain is just like, this is BS, I don't want to be You're part of this. fighting it, yeah. yeah. So, so it's, two, it's two different things. First of all, I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. There we go. Right? I can't say, give me your credit card, and go take all your money and bring it back to me. It don't work like that. Okay? The next thing is, have you ever drove a vehicle from one place to another place? Never. You don't remember how you got there? Yeah. Yeah, so I and I, I know what you're actually s- yes, yeah, <laughs> and I that, that scares me sometimes. I'm like, how did I even get here? Well, you can get it, yeah. You, and, and obviously, if somebody wants to, if they want to end a behavior, uh, then you know, yes. R- Russell, that's that that helps out a lot. And and you know, yes. look, and it's just that's the whole part of therapy. Any kind of therapy, they tell you that if you don't willingly want to participate in therapy, including if you will talk therapy, the therapist mm-hmm. usually go, "I'm not going to force you because y- if you don't exactly. want to do this, it doesn't work." So that makes sense. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Basically, the, in a nutshell, you got your subconscious mind, which is about 88% of your brain, and your conscious, which is about 12%. Your conscious and your subconscious are not talking the same language. So consciously, you, wanna, you want to do something, but because of learned behavior, when the fear of flight kicks in, your defensive mechanisms kicks in, the 88% shuts down to 12% conscious. In your conscious, you have your willpower, logic, reasoning, and decision making. So when a, deci- when a subconscious shuts down the conscious, all that other stuff goes out the door until the threat is gone. So basically, I'm just looking around it, the room to see when everybody on this show is like going to gong this guy. Or are you guys still interested? interested? Are you interested? All right, keep going. <laughs> I think it's interesting. No, if you're interested, I'm cool. I mean, I never, if I, no one else is, I'm, I'm more ne- happy. Well, to- I'm looking at Danny, looking at Vicky. I never know when it comes to something because I'm, I'm always interested in everything, but I also have the radio vibe in my brain going, <laughs> yeah. is this guy boring the hell out of us? Danny, Vicky, what do you think? Are you, do you care? And be honest, do you care? I mean,. No, nah, Vicky doesn't care. Uh, I don't know what's it's, happening. It's Sorry. too early in the day for yeah. this. Yeah. They've been you hypnotized. Don't care, do you? 
You care? Uh, I like the hypnotism stuff. All right, so I actually am proud of you, Steve, because I wasn't sure if you were sleeping over there because I couldn't tell. Well, he, I did say, care. he did start it with sleep now or whatever he said. So at that point, that's so Steve, do you care been. because he's making you sleep and you're getting a nap in? No, I'm one of those guys that does find interest. I, 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 I get a thing. I get a kick out of hypnotists. I feel like it's maybe a little disrespectful to someone who does hypnotist therapy. But when I go to the fairs, I will watch that stuff and just like this is so cool. All right, and well, I, I still laugh at like some of the crazy stuff they make people do, whether or not it's true or not. I mean, look, I'm a fan of wrestling and magic, so I mean, I, I kind of, I don't know what is true and what isn't with certain things. But if it's done well enough, I'm entertained by it. But it's interesting to hear, like there are certain All parts right. of your mind. But maybe it is a little too much on a, on a Monday morning. I just. I yeah. was digging it. There you go. Well, listen, therapy is a good thing. If anybody can change their behavior yeah. and whatever, that's the case. I imagine, yeah. Russell, that you want to let people know about you. You're on the air. If somebody wants to get more information, do you have a website or something? I do. Um, you can, they can reach us at liftedhypnosis.com. Is that lift it like lift a box? Lift it? Yes, lift it. Oh, yes. I thought it said lift, lift it. it. I was like, that's a whole different website. That is a different website. <laughs> liftedhypnosis.com. Yes. Okay, and well. You, you can also find me on Psychology Today. Okay, that's we don't need that information. Jesus, Russell, let me teach you about not that's putting too much in. That's a big deal. That's like I an don't care saying, about that. But that's like, <laughs> like if we talk to a band, like, hey, what's your band doing? Oh, we're doing this, but we're also featured in Rolling Stone. I'd be like, that's awesome. All right, fine. Psychology, psychology Today psychology. is like a big, that's a, right. that's a big publication. All right, fair enough. Psychology Today. You're, oh, so what, you're, you're, you're trying to yell at him. Your group, well, I'm just wanting to get information the so people remember. hypnotism's not working. He's still no, angry. Not. We I'm tried. Trying, you know, I mean, a lot of people are listening. So what, you're in the magazine? It sounds like he needs a session. No, I don't need a session because I would be fighting you the whole time with your hypnosis. I yeah. pay money to yeah. watch this yeah. session. No, I, let yeah. me tell you right now, I would don't Street even get me charity. Don't even get me going on the whole thing. But let me ask you this: so, psychology did a, a, a thing on your profession or on your particular uh, office? Yes. <laughs> I guess, I guess, no, no, I mean, that's a fair yes. I guess they're talking about the business. All right, he's done. Okay, fair enough. Good job, Russell. <laughs> Yo, if later today we're all clucking like chickens, we know he did something to us and we don't even see. I just hated the way it began. Oh, he's, he's, I, I he's, hated the way it began. He's a character, man. Leading, no, no, it's like, hey, what do you guys think of something? I, oh, okay. I hate that. In an art, I hate when somebody says, "What's your opinion?" When they already have a fixed position, and there's no way their position is going to change. So mm-hmm. it's like, then why ask me? I mean, why don't you just tell me, "Hey, I like this." Don't or maybe know if you he would. just kind of wanted to get an unfiltered opinion of what he does to see how you what, what, how you view it. Because I got to imagine that's a very polarizing type of therapy. I don't ever. Yeah, I mean, look. If it works for something, I don't care. What, I, I don't care what anybody does. My wife is into so much stuff that I don't understand. Right. But if it works for via the placebo effect, and I think that's what a lot of people will tell you. If your brain says something works to the point that you'll heal yourself, you're taking a sugar pill and you heal yourself. Who am I to argue with that, dude? I know. I remember when we went through the whole thing just trying to have a kid, and you know, like you know, we did several years of all the different scientific ways of trying, and that, obviously the natural ways too. You know what's up, but none of that yeah, was working. Buddy. And then all of a sudden, someone recommended that uh, we should check out an acupuncture, a uh, fertility-focused uh, acupuncture specialist kind of a person. And and I was like, all right, why not? But both of us had the attitude of, it's probably just going to relax you, but it's not going to – this is crazy. You know what I mean? But then five months after my wife started doing acupuncture, seeing this specialist, all of a sudden she was pregnant. So, Oh, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, he did a good job with his. No, I'm kidding. My was, wife, my well, Doctor Pokey. My wife will tell you because you're in Doctor Pokey neighborhood. Yeah, my wife could tell you exactly why it all worked. Like what right. she did, what those needles did in order for your wife to basically be ready to rock and roll. And, and I don't and, know what the hell she's talking and, and about. And even the, the lady that was doing the acupuncture stuff, she was like, okay, well, this is gonna happen. Like she, I mean, but she nailed it. So I mean, as it were, yeah, right with with the pins. But I mean, before that would have happened. I would have been like, you're crazy. Yeah. And, that, and then after it, I'm like, why didn't we do this first? It, was, it would have been so much cheaper. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's the miracle that you're going to have your first kid, but Steve's first response, God, if we did this first, we would have saved so much though. That was the first thing both of yeah. us said. We could have saved so much money if we just did this first. Of course, we're happy we're having a kid, and now we're happy we have a healthy baby. But at the yeah. time, yeah, of course, we like, <laughs> lost a lot of money I know. going through these traditional ways. And then here comes something that's a little more new agey in the eyes of a lot of people. That's why like, when I hear about these hypnosis guys, I'm like, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like poo-poo it because... I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you. 
with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders, no more leaks, just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. If it works for someone, it works for someone. Yeah, I yeah, I, I don't have a problem with what he does. I just had a problem with how he opened the conversation. It's just a trigger thing for me. Don't ask me my opinion about something that you already have a fixed opinion about because you don't want to know my opinion because you already be- you obviously it, believe in what you believe. It'd be like you walking into a party, no one knows what you're doing. You're like, what do you think about radio? Exactly. BJ and Migs mornings on the Rock. Ninety-nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Two zero six four two one Rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. Somebody want to know? Would you guys ever consider a drive-in concert? Well, I've heard that Denmark is doing that. Yes, I, I've been hearing about a few of these places. Like they're doing different types of drive-through forms of art. I mean, even in, in like church stuff too. I, I guess there's been stuff like that as well where you just drive up. A lot of pastors are so happy to get out there and do that. Just something. Just yeah. say, I mean, even though it's not exactly ideal, but the concert one would be interesting. I know like the like singer songwriter guy was doing that where it was like a drive through kind of a th- or a drive up kind of a thing. A yeah. drive in, sorry. Yeah, this guy Mads Langer in Denmark had a sold out performance That's who it was. Yeah. yeah. They just pulled up to a park and boom, there they were. Five hundred tickets were sold to this drive through concert. So is that 500 cars, or is that like a couple hundred cars where you fill the car up with people? Oh, that's a good question. And then you got to like make sure that they're people that have been together all the time. And here's the thing. The performance is broadcast into the cars uh, via the FM radio, So and then they could interact with him through Zoom. So you're really you're, 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 so you're hearing the music in your car while you're looking at him on Zoom, or maybe you can see him on a stage. Is he on? Or is, How do you is, request Freebird? Do you honk I, the horn a few times? <laughs> honk three times if you want to hear Freebird. This is interesting. Do you think that he's there? Like, can they see him on a, some sort of a stage? I bet the, he is. Yeah, because they said you can interact with him through Zoom. Well, maybe he has like a person or he has a screen set yeah. up. Yeah, that's a weird thing. I This is so sci-fi to me. All of the, yeah. the way we're doing stuff now is so sci-fi. Demolition Man. I watched Demolition Man over the weekend because there's so many things that we're doing now. I thought, let me go back and watch that movie. See and how much art imitates reality. It's or freaky. It is so freaky. It really, really is just how we, are, how we all are. How do you like show appreciation? Do you flash your high beams? Yeah. I mean, what right. else can you do, right? <laughs> I guess you could honk your horn, but I mean, I don't know if that would disrupt the show. And if it's the right type of band, is a mosh pit just like a four-car pileup or yeah. something? I mean, like, I don't oh, know. Like, demo uh, derby. If Danny was involved, you know that there'd, oh, be, a, yeah. Yeah, there'd be a pileup. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Concert slash demolition derby. Well, I'm in. Like, oh, crap. Uh, man, well, you have to take bumper cars at this point. Uh, at least that way everybody's okay. Someone said Bones UK just did a small driving concert yesterday. Oh, nice. And the person driving concerts, create demolition derby mosh pits. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Well, it's something. You, I mean, you know, if because pe- people like what I've noticed is that people just like leaving the house for any reason. Yes, that's what I was saying earlier. Like how the lines at coffee places continue to get longer and longer because it's just it's a reason to get out. Yeah, and, and with live music, I you know, dude, it was cool that the the band, the Glorious Suns, just surprised all of us fans and put up on streaming services. Uh, a full concert that they did recently. Oh, that's cool. And it was awesome because it was one of the concerts my wife and I drove up to Vancouver to go see. It's a show from the Commodore Ballroom, and they put that up there for anyone that wants to listen to it. It's on it's right on your YouTube one as well. Well, i got to go check that out. It's awesome. It's such a great performance. So that's what we were listening to while waiting in line to get coffee over the weekend. Oh, see, you were out there. You were one of those people waiting in line, Just making it happen. Living a good life, man. Windows down, listening to some glorious suns. Yeah. Nice. So Are you going to be a guy that walks up to the coffee shop now, like order it and walk up if you can, or do you still want to be drive through guy? drive through guy. See, I like to walk to some places and you know feel like I'm getting a little, I'm out there mixing again with humanity. See, for us, the drive is what, whenever Tatum's being fussy and kind of oh, crying, Oh yeah. instant calm down is her... Get in the car and just drive around. Although this weekend, one at one point, she just was getting even worse, and it was just like we pull up to the coffee shop and like, "What would you like?" And all they could hear is, "Ah!" 
Ah! <laughs> oh, because you I'm stopped? Like, yeah. Yeah, I remember those I'm days like, with Joey. I'm like, I got to make this order quick. God, Joey was a pain in the ass for that reason. I had Where to drive. You know, Joe? I, I, I literally was just like, okay, all right. I take, the, I take Joey off Kathy's hands and go, okay, I'll go for a drive. And I just would just drive around the neighborhood because mm-hmm. that's the only thing that would shut him up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, the only they would shut him up. Sarah, on the other hand, never, never a problem that way. And of course, now it's flip flop. She won't ever shut up. And Joey is a great kid. I remember one of the times when we first had our baby, and we went to some doctor's thing. I don't remember what it was for, but it was like it was reading one of those pamphlets, and it said like you know when baby's crying, how to handle it because it's something that's new. And one of the one, one of the, one of the options was take it for a drive. I'm like, that sounds crazy. Boy, were they right? Oh, they. <laughs> it's like they knew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think it's like they knew? I like how you you just spit in the face what of years of know? watching uh, babies. Uh, what do these pamphlet people know? I right? I know what my daughter needs. She doesn't need a drive. No, she doesn't. She just needs a nice hug. Yeah, that worked out. Yeah. yeah. Next thing you know, Steve goes, where's that freaking car keys? I'm, I'm, I'm going. We're going for a drive. We're going for a damn drive. Well, that was like the time last, not last week, not this past weekend, but the weekend before I was late because we were in the middle of doing one of those drives. I was like, sorry, guys. I got We got to calm her down. No, I don't blame you, dude. Yeah. That, that takes priority because that will drive you insane quick. Yes. That, that shrill crying and you're like, what is wrong? Well, she's got the cute cry, but then she's also got that next level where it is truly strangling a pterodactyl cry. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> okay, we need to figure this out. Yeah. And you don't know what she's going through. It could be what they call growing pain. I mean, that's a legitimate Teething. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. so I don't know why driving in a car, the, the vibration. You'd think maybe, like, here's what I want to know. Has somebody come out with a device that you could put them in that emulates driving with a car? Like yeah. it'll, It's called the dryer. <laughs> you put them in the car seat, and oh, you then you them, put them above the dryer. Oh, I thought you were going to put her in a dryer. No, 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 no. no, say, no. Well, inside the dryer. Right, yeah, I tried that, and it didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah. well did you use the snuggle? Because <laughs> yeah, the snuggle sheet's got to go in there with her. and that probably explain a little bit more. But no, I've known people who have actually, yeah. The but, dryer. Yeah, just because it is the same sort of vibration type. Yeah, but then you got to stay and watch her because you can't leave her on the well, dryer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you still have to watch your child. No, I want to be able to lock her in something and just leave her there like, a, you know, like like you throw them in a, like a little playpen. Well, well, I mean, the one thing we have that helps her sleep because I think it's about the motion is um, we have one of those, they, they call it a smart sleeper. It's like the happiest baby, a snoo. And it's a bassinet kind of a thing where you yeah. put her in it. And then when she makes sounds, like if she starts making like aggressive sounds, it starts moving a little bit faster, Ooh. a little bit faster. That's why we're able – dude, it was not cheap. And when my wife first suggested it, I'm like, good luck trying to convince me to buy that. And then she shows me all these reviews of people. I'm getting two more hours. Once you tell me I could get two more hours of sleep at night, I'm like – Let's get it. And then so we oh. bought it. It was the best investment still to this day. I, I, I don't think I've ever made a better investment in my life. Nice. Because it's just like as soon as she gets a little fussy, all of a sudden she starts moving a little bit more and, and she just falls right back asleep. Ooh. It's nice. I think I'm going to get one. But it's kind of like, <laughs> I know. It's like I'm like, do they make one for the cribs too? Because like, it's like at some point we're going to have to get her out of that. Well, I want to make one for my own bed because well, I can't, sometimes I can't fall asleep button. and I'm fussy. Do you have one of those vibrators? Well, I do. But, um, I, Gosh, that gets me I mean. in a different mood. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got one of those nice beds. <laughs> yeah, some of the beds do the vibration. The, the yeah, that kind of vibration doesn't do anything for me. I, I need my bed to move. <laughs> I want my bed to go like a car. Which was to go right out the door. Which is funny because Ford actually came out with a baby crib that mimics a car ride. See? This is a few years back. Yay, Ford. Ooh. Oh, it That's lights right. up too. Oh, uh, yeah. That might just be for demonstration. Plus, it also wow. has directional, so you yeah. know which direction you know. You put, you tell people you're taking a left. It's fun for raves as well. That's right. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. BJ would just get car sick. <laughs> no, I don't get car sick, Danny. I would. I would absolutely get car That's sick. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. Would be Sarah would. One. Sarah's the car sick one in our family on the rev. I'd be fine. Oh, yeah. Whoa, these snooze are expensive. I know. Wow. <laughs> but you can, if you get lucky, you find it during a sale period, and that's what it, it, it's, it came in at the right time. Well, the, it makes sense if it moves back and forth. It's got you know all sorts of machinery in it. The website says you can rent them, too. You oh, Snoo is the brand name S-N-O-O. S-N-O-O. Yeah. Oh, they know what they're doing. Oh, they are so they so know get what they're hours doing. Hours more sleep it's, right on the website, dude. <laughs> it's true. You can charge thousands of dollars for extra hours of sleep. They, they, they know do. that. Well, yeah, this thing is right around that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but with with a good discount, they went under that. Which hey, nice. hey, with a good uh, discount, hey boys. Discount, please, oh, that, I don't know. It was some, like, some at that time they were doing a sale for like twenty percent or thirty percent off, and I'm like, okay, fine. 
That's significant, though. Okay, fine. It, it did. You it is, people. dude. When it's, something's like a thousand bucks, yeah, you nickel and dime me for my sleep and my. There's baby. no nickels and dimes there, man. Yeah, Those are hundies. No, yeah. yeah. Man. Nice job. Yeah. That's all. I, you could have made it rain on some people. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Taking this money and going to the strip club. It's hey. insane, though. Yeah. It, that, that, that whole business, baby business, is like ridiculous. Oh, the baby business is like the wedding business. It, I mean, you're right. They get, they get you in every stage of your life, my friend. They do. Oh, yeah. Baby is a big business. Yeah, someone said uh, Ford did make a device that imitates the car driving as well. Another yeah. person says they also have one called the Mamaru. It simulates the motion. Oh, the Mamaru. I saw that. Yeah. Simulates the motion of what? The, like a mama rocking her? Like a car. Oh, they they're cool. It? They look like little pods like yeah. from uh, WALL-E. Oh. Interesting name. They call it the Mamaru. Yeah, we have one. Yeah, we got one of those as a baby gift. Like, so like- Oh, is this you can adjust to where how the angle she's in, but like she lays in it, and then you can have like drive setting. Well, how come that doesn't roll. work? You still got to take her for drives, dude. I don't know, man. So then, the, <laughs> I'm not buying a mama roof. You're still driving around the neighborhood. If you yeah. got one of these, it's obviously not working. Well, apparently it's it works in different ways, but it doesn't work like a car. Why don't you just buy her a car? <laughs> <laughs> right? Just go here. You go, Tatum. Here are that's, the keys. You figure this out. All right, I'm that's done exactly with you. Exactly what I need. Yeah. You I know what? Seriously, I'm already saving for that. When you come out with <laughs> self-driving cars, you can just throw Tatum in there, and you don't even have to be there. You know, I feel like that would be a bad idea, BJ. It's a self-driving car. Yeah, It'll get her back. Out on top of the dryer too. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I have a mountain of credit card bills and consumer debt. Can I still keep my house if I file bankruptcy? Yes, you almost always can keep your home and, and your house, your car in a, in a bankruptcy. Depending on what type of bankruptcy you file uh, would depend on whether or not, for example, you can keep your vehicles if you have payments on them still. You can almost always keep your home if you're current on the payments on your home, even in full bankruptcy. In Chapter 13, uh, you can also keep those items. If you're behind on your house, you could catch your house payments up in a Chapter 13, take off a second mortgage in a Chapter 13. So keeping your, your primary assets like a home and car is almost always possible in bankruptcy. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. And thanks for listening. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit TanklessMadeSimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. <laughs> <laughs>